Hi there, so today I'm going to be talking about my Louis Vuitton Speedy B collection. So that's the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the Cognac Emprunt leather and the Millezeme leather and then also the Monogram canvas. And those are all three in the size 25 and then the Speedy 20 in the Monogram canvas. So I purchased the Speedy 20 and the Speedy 25 bandolier at about the same time because I really wanted to use the strap from the Speedy 25 with the Speedy 20. So the Speedy 20 comes with a wide jacquard strap and you know it's a certain look that I'm not always going to want to wear so I definitely wanted to purchase additional straps to work with the Speedy 20. And specifically, I wanted the three-part strap from the Speedy 25 Bandolier and the Monogram Canvas in the Vaquetta leather because I love the three parts and how you can make it a short shoulder bag and a crossbody. So I have to have my straps from Louis Vuitton. I, I like to keep all of my branding specific to each bag from each brand. So. I need a Louis Vuitton strap for a Louis Vuitton bag. So I know that there are aftermarket straps out there available and that's great. And I think that they are really cost effective, but just for me personally, I like to have all of the branding to one. So I will buy a Speedy 25 bandolier in the monogram canvas just to get the Vaquetta strap. Anyway, these two guys, I, I think they're fantastic. And even though I bought the Speedy 25 for the the strap the vaquetta strap i you know i really wanted one anyway so it works out i'm definitely going to use it how i'm going to use it it will be interesting everyday handbag travel getting on a plane i don't know there are a lot of options here so so i wouldn't be a bag collector if i didn't have a little saga behind this whole speedy situation and frenzy so i bought the cognac on prompt first that's the one with the giant monogram and even though it has a giant monogram i thought that's going to be my low-key speedy because that's the only one i had seen I, I didn't even know that there was a millezeme speedy coming out so i bought the cognac on prompt first and lo you know loved it because it, i finally have my simple brown speedy then I see that they're coming out with the most dreamy, nondescript Speedy I've ever seen, which is the Millezeme Speedy, which is similar to the, the, um, the old Nomad Speedy that I'd seen in the past. But this is a, a special leather and it's a sumptuous, you know, special leather. So this came out after the Empreinte and, or I found out about it afterwards. And so I purchased this Speedy in cognac before this one came out and I really I wonder if I'd gotten this one first if I would have not bought this one but I'm glad about the sequence that I didn't know about this one because then I wouldn't have gotten this one and I really really I love the speedy 25 in the Empreinte in the cognac I just think it's great because the cognac is a really everyday durable bag whereas the millezeme you know, you have to baby a little bit more. It scratches really easily and, you know, it's it's more expensive, a little bit more precious. So, you know, it's not like the durable, you know, beast of a Speedy 25 that can really take some wear and tear. But then again, the Vaquetta is very, not that, you know, it take it, you need to patina it before it becomes more durable. So anyway, they all have their caveats, don't they? But I, I am really happy that I bought the Emprunt Cognac Speedy 25 first because I'm so glad I have it and I'm really happy to have both. So I'm so glad that I got the Speedy Emprunt and I have to say, I love the strap. So the bandolier strap for this and, and I'll do mod shots at the end too so you can see how each Speedy looks but the Emprunt strap is so soft and very supple, you know, it, you know, you can move it. Like I have this thing about, you know, a supple strap in this 
Tom Prat really has it. And it just feels good on the body. The color is great. This cognac on Prat, you can wear this with a monogram canvas speedy and it gives it this cool contrast and I'll show that too in some mod shots because it's easier to see how the bags hang that way but but anyway love the emprunt strap and again you know I use an organizer from Zumoni in this bag oh here this bag gets a ding though the zipper sticks a little bit and you know, here's all my my usual things, the what's in my bag. I've gone over this in in my review of the Speedy 25 Millizeme. I go over what's in my bag, but it's all the same stuff, same size organizer. The or, the Zimoni 20 Speedy 25 organizer fits in all the Speedy 25s that I have. So this one, this one, and this one. So I just use the same organizer. I did buy a separate one for this one just because um, because I use this bag so much that I just leave it all in there. And yeah, so the Speedy 25 in the Emprunt Cognac, I just, I love it. And if this, the Millizeme had come out first, I would have purchased this one and I wouldn't even have looked at this one. So I'm really happy that I bought this one first. So I have a full review of the Millizeme Leather Speedy because it's just so special. And I've talked about the strap. The strap is really stiff. It'll break in over time, I'm sure. I think that's part of the whole kind of saddle vibe, you know, really stiff strap that will break in with use, just as this will patina with use and become, you know, just so wonderful. And you know, I this leather is amazing. I just want to say one more thing because in my last video where I have a comparison of this bag with the Hermes Bolli 31, I talk about how I got a little um, vitamin E nail oil like right around here. And it's really absorbed into the leather. And so I have to say it's a testament to this leather that you may mark it, you may scratch it, but if you rub the scratches out, I don't really think it's a big deal. And if you get a little splotchy on there, you'll, you'd be surprised that over time, it may absorb into the leather. So far with me, so good. Um, but again, I'm gonna report back after I've worn this for a long time and really worn it. And, cause I would love to share how it wears because we shall see, this is a very new bag still. So, oh, such a beautiful bag. But I love this one too. And so another quick note, I mean, the price comparison is enough that it will, you're either gonna want this bag or not. I mean, some people are just not willing to pay that much for a bag, totally understandable. So um, this Speedy on Prompt is a really good, I think it's a really, I think it's a well-priced alternative to have, you know, that brown kind of more understated Speedy but at a much easier price point and and you know you know you're not going to be scared to wear it you're going to it's you're going to grab and go with this bag and like i said i've used it a ton so one thing also the Empreinte speedy is structured and it keeps its structure i i i use the bag organizer to help with that structure but there hasn't been any problem there's there's quite a bit of weight in this bag I, as you can see i have you know there's stuff in this bag, so it, it makes it heavy, but it's still not as heavy as this bag. This bag is heavy with all the stuff in it. This Empreinte is much lighter. Um, the Speedy 20 in the Millizeme, it over time, I think it's gonna get floppy. It does not hold its structure as well because it comes with this pillow. So they give you this you know, wonderful pillow to help keep its structure. But I think over time, it's going to get very, very smooshy. And I think the sides might even collapse a little. I mean, we'll see. So in storage, I'll always have a way to keep it upright. But for now, even without the pillow, it keeps its structure. But this Emprunt, it's it definitely keeps its structure. And I think it will over time. This one, um, 
we we shall see but again i've i've put a lot of weight in this bag and toted it around with an insert and structure is there so it's good this one though you know who cares if it loses its structure a little bit who cares if it gets a little floppy and smooshy you know that's if that's what this leather wants to do you do that and i'm just going to deal with it because it is so gorgeous I will say, I just want to do a size comparison of the different 25s because they're different. Even though, you know, they're speedy 25s and they have the the measurements, they, they're actually different. The speedy 25 and the Empreinte, it's a little bit shorter and it's a little bit narrower. So you can see, you know, right here, I'll try to line them up. It's interesting how it's... You know, it's not a 25, 25. Is this the 25? Because then if you look at the, um, the Millezeme and the traditional Speedy are pretty well matched in size. They're pretty close, even though I think the Millezeme looks a little bit maybe taller. I'm not sure. I can't see because my tripod. They're about the same size. So it's really the Empreinte that in the giant monogram that is a little bit more petite. It's It's been a wonderful uh, grab and go, this Empreinte. So maybe it is that little bit of smaller size that I'm liking. But I also want to talk about a great discovery that I discovered that the Speedy Cognac Empreinte strap looks really great with the Speedy, the Speedy 25. And I'll show it in the mod shots. You can't really see it here, but it, it gives it like a tri-color look, a tri-tone, which is really cool. So you've got cognac, you've got lighter vaquetta, and then you have the speedy mono neutral brown. So I think it's a really cool combo and I'm gonna show that in the mod shots. So I know a lot of people have the monogram speedy 25. I mean, this is indeed the classic, maybe not the bandolier, but the original. And um, yeah, that's the, the original is the one I had once. Um, long time ago and then so basically I had to work the speedies out of my system and honestly I'm not sure if I have worked them out of my system because I'm sure they're going to be limited editions and different collections coming out of speedy that I'm going to want to collect but in terms of you know the last several years I had not been collecting that much Louis Vuitton and there's some kind of revival in my mind of this shape Maybe it's part of the whole 80s and 90s nostalgia that's taking place in fashion right now. There's so much, there's so much nostalgia going on and, 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 you know, reimagining. And so what I like about, well, this is, this is, I love the 20. It's a reimagined Speedy. I just think that's, it's such a great size. But the original is, you know, this is so... It's that, it's that look from the 80s, the 90s that, you know, and in the monogram only, that is truly, truly that quintessential Louis Vuitton. And, you know, I always like monogram canvas. Monogram canvas is one of those neutrals that, you know, maybe it's not trending, you know, like the Bottega Veneta, cassette bag, you know, where everybody's carrying one of those and, you know, it's an influencer driven bag. And, you know, this is an old classic. And what I like to do is collect bags that don't date. So from every brand, I have pretty much a classic because, or every brand that I collect, I have classics because that's, that's what I want in my collection. I want things that I can always grab at any time, at any period in time. And so that nostalgia is a reflection of why I think I've gravitated toward the Speedy lately. And if you like these silhouettes and these bags make you happy and this is what you want to carry, it's, this is it. So Louis Vuitton canvas will never go anywhere. It will always be offered 
and people will always be wearing it and collecting it because it will never leave the fashion vocabulary. It is a mainstay. It, it harkens back to travel bags and all things Louis Vuitton luggage, which I love. So for me, the Speedy is, it's a bag that I love and I, I had to work it out of my system. So, you know, again, I don't think it will be worked out of my system. I think, I think I'm gonna need more Speedies. So I don't know. Speedy lover here. Love the Speedy. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate your attention to this matter of the Speedy. And if you do have some thoughts about the Speedy and if you want to talk about Speedies with me, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And which Speedy do you like the best? Do you like the monogram? Do you like the emprunt? Do you like the millazine leather? Or will you take all three? And will you include the 20? And yeah, Louis Vuitton Speedy. So here they are all lined up. From the side view i love these colors i'm really into browns and caramels and those types of neutrals so these colors make me so happy so here's the speedy melazine emprunt monogram canvas speedy 20 monogram canvas speedy 20 with the vaquetta strap speedy 20 with the emprunt cognac strap Cognac crossbody, shoulder, speedy on the shoulder, speedy short shoulder with the vaquetta strap, my favorite combination, love this. And finally, the speedy 25 mono on the shoulder, millazim on the shoulder. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd really love to know which one you like the best in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.